This is the ACTA CVS tutorial video series. Part 1. Creating a project. This tutorial assumes you have installed and configured both SSH Tunnel and Smart CVS. In this tutorial, we'll show the steps to put a local project under source code control. So the first step is to create a project. For demonstration, I've gone ahead and created a simple Hello World program. It's just a simple C file with a couple comments and function calls. So with that all out of the way, we'll start by connecting to the CVS repository using SSH Tunnel. The connection established, we'll start Smart CVS. The first thing we need to do is create a module in the repository. And a module is the location in the repository where your project will be stored. So now we'll select the files that we want to put in our module. In this case, they're in the development directory on my desktop within the Hello World folder. Now we select the repository we're going to connect to. In this case, the ACTA CVS repository is already selected. It should be noted that the repository does not change for the project you're working on. If it lives in the ACTA CVS repository, you will connect to the same repository every time. Now we'll select where we're going to store our module within the repository. Now there are two places. The projects folder contains large-scale projects developed by multiple developers that will be distributed in some form. For smaller projects, usually used by one or maybe a few users, store them in your local directory in the users folder. Since this is a test, we'll put the project in my directory, Baker. Now we give our module a name. In this case, Hello World is descriptive and short. Now we need to give the project a name with, to use within Smart CVS. Users Baker Hello World is a little long, so we'll shorten it to Hello World and for clarity, we'll add trunk, which we'll explain more about later. So let's review. We've selected the local files that will go into our module. We've selected the repository we're going to connect to. We've specified where the module will reside on, this, on the repository and given the module a name. We've also given the project a name that Smart CVS will use. So now we can click Finish, and we can see that everything went successfully. No conflicts created by this import. So now, within the Smart CVS window, we can see the files within our directory. Hello world.c and hello world.exe. Now we won't actually add the exe to the repository because this is a binary file. So let's start by adding the C file to the repository. And these default options are OK, and we'll click Add. So we can see in the output pane, the file has been scheduled for addition. There's one more step before we actually add this file to the repository. Right click and click Commit to enter a log message. So normally when we commit, we write a message that will show up in the history of the file. This specifies what changes have been made and why those changes were made. In this case, there's not much to say, so we'll go with initial import and click commit. Now the commit goes through and actually adds the file to the repository. We can see that it's been marked with the initial revision of 1.1. If we go back to the files pane, we can see that the local state is now marked as unchanged. This means that the file that we have on our computer is the same as the file in the repository. On the other hand, hello world.exe is marked as non-CVS. This means that it's not in the CVS repository at all. So let's review what we've done. We've created a module and we've added a file to our module. So now hello world.c 
is under source code control. We can make changes on our local machine and we can either commit them or if we decide we don't like them we can roll back to the original version of our file. In this tutorial we created a project and added files to that project. Next tutorial we'll demonstrate how to check out files from a project.